Okay, guys, gonna get out there and check my traps. It's really cold right now. Not super cold, not snowing, but it's cold. And last night was even colder, so the predators definitely should have been moving. Uh oh. Got him. Nice red. Now guys, this one is actually from my P post set. First time ever setting a scent post set in my entire life. And I got one on the second day. You know, that's that's really awesome guys. I'm really, really proud of it. I'm gonna here he is, nice back leg catch right where he's supposed to be. A good little red fox. I'm gonna go on and get this guy out of the trap. Okay, so I got that red fox taken care of. Now I'm going to check my trap. And uh, it's actually about half a mile away on foot. Now all my other traps are, you know, I can go around and check them on the mule. No big deal, just drive around. But this one, I gotta hike about a mile there and back. Instead of just making it one trap, I got a little dog proof here. I'm gonna set this on my way. That way I'm not walking a mile just for a chance at some kind of predator. Maybe I'll catch a possum, which possums are everywhere. Okay, so I decided to set my dog proof right here. There's a bunch of rocks right there and a high wall right there. I'm pretty sure there's possums denning up and under those rocks. There's definitely something. I'm, a, I'm pretty sure it's a possum though, because there's a lot of trees with bark scratched off. There's also there's also a bunch of trails come right down here beside that tree. That right there, that's just a mock trail. That ain't real. I just threw some leaves out. But my philosophy is that if something is coming this way, runs into this trail that I made, it might just follow the trail and go to my trap. Now I'm not sure if that'll work or not for possums, but I know it works for a fact for fox and coyote and bobcats. So now that I got those traps checked, I'm going to sight in my 22. Because from my squirrel hunting video, y'all know, my 22 is not sighted in. I missed every single shot. But anyways, I'm going to try to change that today. Okay guys, so probably the biggest difference is I went from some cheap federal hollow points to these CCI mini mags. Now these are still hollow points, and they're still 36 grains, and they still travel at 12 th at 1260 feet per second but with those federals you could look at five different bullets and they'd have five different dents and scuff marks on these things they're all look 100 percent identical really hard to find in a 22 shell these days but anyways i'm gonna send about three four shots down range and then see where we are from there and before i shoot yes i did take this scope completely off and put it back on, tighten it up, just to make sure that the seating wasn't bad. Okay, here's my groupings. I hit three times here, one time down here. Since this is an outlier, we're just gonna act like it didn't happen, and just count on these three. Now, the up and down, yeah, it's pretty good, but I definitely need to move it over here to the right. So since it hit right there, I'm gonna have to move my scope over to the left. All right, so it says at 100 yards, it's one click equals one fourth. I'm about 25 yards away, so that means one click is one sixteenth of an inch, and I need to go over about a fourth, so I'm gonna click it four times to the left. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna shoot it a few more times, see where I hit this time. Alright, let's go see what happened. Alright, well here's my four shots. I moved it four clicks to the left, which should put it dead on. But it actually moved it down. I'm pretty sure I done it the right way. See guys, here's the one I moved. That's left to right, not up and down. Let's see what this one is. See, that one's up and down. Maybe I'll have to move them both. I don't like this. Alright, so it says to move it up. Turn this way, and that's what I'm going to do. There we go. That should be with a half inch. 
Now over here, it still needs to go left, so. That should do it. We'll see. Okay, guys, well, I've got to where I can hit about a group the size of a quarter. I'm going to put one bullet in the chamber, take one shot at one little orange dot. If I can hit the dot, I'll, I'll call it good. There we go. This is the last shot. It's the only one that counts. Here we go. Okay, guys. There it is. There's the dot. There's the bullet. Pretty good for me. All right, okay, guys. So I pretty well got my 22 sided in. Now I'm ready to go score hunting. Finally. So, uh, if everything goes to plan, you should be expecting a squirrel hunting video tomorrow. But, you never know how things is going to go. I want y'all to do me a favor, guys. Tell some of your best friends about this channel. Especially the ones that likes hunting, fishing, and trapping. Like you guys do. I'll see y'all later. Hopefully, in the woods.